Each new generation is reared by its predecessor. The latter must therefore improve in order to improve its successor. The movement is secular. Good day, directors, Mr. Twain Ajay in absentia, and Mrs. Fumi Ajay, parents, special guests, and my enchanting Prestonians. This day last year, I held on to that staff of authority as the 13th president of Preston International School. And now it is with great joy that I hand that over to these new set of prefects. Firstly and most importantly, looking back in the past 12 months, it has been an exceptionally busy year, but it was God who came through for my team and I. It's extremely important to understand that God installed and ordained us as prefects. This was not just signed on paper. We've had to deal with a rapid succession of important events, many of which are still unfolding. Indeed, for me, it has been a most eventful period at times challenging, but on the whole, a most rewarding experience as it was a time for me to serve God's royal priesthood. Prestonians, there were times where we felt like our academics would be greatly affected, but permit me to speak for all when I say that each and every one of us became better academically as prefects than we ever did before. Nevertheless, I would love to appreciate the management for their consistent support and being the backbone during our tenure. On behalf of the outgoing prefects, we are grateful for being given this opportunity, not just to have the title, but to perform our duties as well. We are grateful for the rewards as well as the sanctions. You don't win alone, that's just how it is. Now, to the most supportive set of prefects I could ever ask for, I want to say a big thank you. Honestly, it was not just a job done by my prefects. It was a whole set that bought into this vision to achieve the mission of the school. For this reason, I am grateful for the set of 2024 in general. I cherish the little losses and the huge wins that we've had. I do not think that we would have had a smooth tenure if not for the genuine cooperation that we shared amongst each other. Thank you for the times where we supported each other, to the times where we laughed, the times where we smiled, to the times where we had to call each other aside to scold ourselves. Together, we discarded our weaknesses to fan our strengths. Prefects of the class of 2024. Yes, sir. Prefects of the class of 2024. Yes, sir. From the depth of my heart, I love you. To the new selected prefects, congratulations. We are extremely happy for you, and we pray that you do way better than we ever did. However, do not forget that in whatever you do, you are supposed to put God first, because you are first accountable to God before man. What you do not know is that the only way to achieve success is walking and talking in truth. And I hope you understand this. My president, I want you to know that you have to set that example, raise that banner, and see this as an opportunity to receive God's blessings. And I hope that God will reward you in Jesus' name. To the climax of it all, the artifacts of leadership, I'm going to be handing over to my vice president, male and female, Loto Samuel and A.K. Kamsil Yochukun. <laughs> Merci. This is the Holy Bible, the foundation upon which Preston was built. I want you to walk in his truth, and I want you to abide by it as I did. Victor Aniekon. This is the flag of Preston International School. The flag symbolizes royalty and purity of Preston International School. And as you hold on to this flag, you are royal and pure in the eyes of God. And now, my president. of authority. As you hold this, you are holding on to the student's leadership. Do not forget to also serve Preston and not just have the title president. Prestonians, this is the outgoing president of the class of 2024. I am happy to hand over.
just as we've always been before you. We promise to always be beside you. And even when we leave, we are always behind you. Prestonians, I present to you the 14th president of Preston International School. 